What you keep on you every single day says a lot about you, not only as a person, but as a creator. So here is my everyday carry things that I, I absolutely cannot live without anymore. Now, before getting into this, I do want to start off by saying these are things that I, you know, keep with me around the house or if I'm going out to like a local coffee shop, you know, running some errands, you know, basically anything local. Nine out of 10 times, these items are gonna be with me. I do have a, a few extra items that I take with me when I'm, you know, traveling, depending on how long the trip is. I'm actually gonna be filming an upcoming video about my EDC travel edition in, I would say the next few weeks. I'm heading over to Europe for 12 days in the beginning of December. And, you know, I'm gonna be overhauling my complete EDC travel kit. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. With that said, let's start this list off with my first item. So first up, we have my 15 Pro Max. Being someone that makes content for social media, I need to have a phone that can do everything with ease. I've had iPhones for as long as I can remember, and to me, I know them inside and out, and it's just the best phone for the job. Pair that with being deeply ingrained in the Apple ecosystem, it just makes sense overall. I upgraded to the 15 Pro Max last year with the release of USB-C and when Apple Log was a huge thing and you know, wanted something that could be a quality second camera for me. This phone has been so good, more times than not, it's my main device for capturing things when I'm out and about and don't have my camera with me. It helps with not only what I do in terms of content creation, but you know, jotting down things in the Notes app, posting stories to Instagram or TikTok, even using it to record content on this channel right here. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, I simply can't say enough good things about this phone. To have all the computing power it does and something that, you know, can slide right in your pocket, I would absolutely be lost without this thing. Let's put it that way. All right, so for my second item, you might've seen it on my wrist. It's actually gonna be this Apple Watch. I don't even know what version this is. I think it's a four or a five. And I got it around, I wanna say 2018, and it's been working flawlessly every day since. In fact, I actually swim with this thing just about every day and not even so much as a hiccup. I love this thing. It's funny, I was never really a watch guy when I was younger, but I mean, I actually hated things on my wrist, to be honest. I didn't like the feeling of it, you know, getting hooked on things, especially like when using a laptop. I've been at the fitness throughout my whole life with some periods more so than others. I mean, I grew up playing basically every sport imaginable, but I, I initially picked this thing up when I got into swimming due to an injury. I wanted something that can keep track of my time, laps and you know distance, and I honestly haven't looked back since. In fact, I almost feel naked if I don't have this thing on my wrist. It's the first thing that I grab when I open my eyes. So I'm sure you guys all know what these are. My AirPod Bros. These little headphones have been so good as an all-in-one pair of headphones for me. I, I literally got rid of all my other pairs that I had and I just used these. I mean, me personally, I've never been a, a huge fan of, you know, the ones that go over your ears. It was just, they weren't that comfortable and this has just been an ideal solution for me. These get used every single day. It's, it's honestly insane. Whether I'm listening to music, taking a call or watching a stream on Twitch or a show on Netflix at night, they just seamlessly connect with every device I have and I would never, I would never trade this for the world. I mean, once you get hooked into the Apple ecosystem, it's just so damn nice. On top of that, you have active noise cancellation, the great battery life, how convenient they are to just slip in your pocket, the overall sound quality. I mean, Apple, if you're watching this, you guys absolutely knocked it out of the park with these. This little guy lives in my backpack or day pack or you know, whatever, wherever I'm going, this is gonna be with me. It's the Anchor MagSafe Power Bank Portable Charger. As you create more and more content with your phone, you're naturally, you know, increasing your screen time. And what does that typically mean? Your battery life is gonna go kaput. So that's where this guy comes in. It's got 10,000 milliamps of juice. It's got this cool little kickstand to prop your phone up if you wanna watch something hands-free and it comes with 15 watt fast charging capabilities. You can get about one and a half charges to full, but 
that's pretty cool with the fast charging. You know, you can you could basically go from completely dead to about 50% or so in under an hour. I think it was like 47 minutes. What really sold me on this one in particular is the smart display on the side, which, you know, allows you to keep track of battery percentage as well as your full recharge times. Now, by no means am I saying that this little window is necessary, but I mean, come on. When you're into tech, things like this, they kind of get you going. I mean, come on, don't lie. But yeah, this thing has helped me so many times, not with just content, but with work in general. I actually picked this up because I run solar surveys for an engineering firm on the side, as you know, it gives me the ability to, to make my own schedule and help with a lot of other things that I have going on. But I mean, it's very taxing on the phone's battery life. I have to take a ton of pictures with not only a drone, but my phone. After I'm done taking all the pictures, I have to compile them, edit them, and fill out a report, all on this thing. It really doesn't take long, pays well, allows me to create my own schedule. So, I mean, I, I really can't complain. Other than having to get it in hot attics sometimes. That's probably the worst part. And the fact that it basically makes my phone battery non-existent at that point. I mean, I know some days I've been out and by noon, my phone is under 50%. So this thing has been a complete lifesaver. I feel like anyone and everyone who creates content should have these next two items in their bag all the time. The first one is gonna be an SSD. The one I have here is the one terabyte T7 Shield from Samsung and boy, do I love this thing. At first I wasn't really sure or crazy about the rugged design they went with. I thought maybe I should have just went with like the all aluminum enclosure. But overall, I've been really happy with this thing. It's small, rugged enough to withstand some shock and holds enough to film a project or two before I have to unload the files somewhere else. I feel like I've been using this thing almost daily since I've gotten it. Whether transferring files from one place to another or recording ProRes with my phone, I honestly have had no issues with this drive and I can't speak highly enough about it. And the second one is gonna be this little USB SD card reader from Uni, I believe. It's got the traditional USB-A port on one side and a USB-C on the other. Both sides support high-speed data transfer at five gigabytes per second, allowing you to transfer footage quickly. It has support for SD cards as well as micro SD for your smaller cameras like your GoPros, 360 cameras, and drones. But the real reason I keep this thing around is the ability to just plug it right into my USB-C port on my phone and transfer files from my camera. I can go from shooting photos on my camera, pop out the SD card, and transfer these files directly to my phone in seconds. So when I really wanna shoot that photo, edit it in Lightroom, and post before I get back to the computer, I can do it with this. Moving on, I have a few smaller items, and the first one I wanna talk about is my wallet. I mean, obvious thing that, you know, majority of us can't live without. Well, actually, that's not true. We, uh, me personally, I've been using a lot of Apple Pay on my phone, so this thing rarely comes out of my pocket. The last couple of years, I've been using this card holder that I got as a gift from Louis Vuitton. I absolutely love this wallet and it's been going strong and looks just as good as the day I got it. I wanted something slim that, you know, didn't feel like I was sitting on a brick when I had it in my back pocket. And this one's just enough. It has space for four cards and then has a little pocket on the inside that I keep my ID and a few other things in there. You could throw some cash in there as well if that's your thing. The only thing I wish this did have, and it's kind of something recent, is RFID protection. I recently just had an incident where I got charged something, I think it was like $950 from Costco. It was on an exit that I stopped off to get gas at. I, I didn't take that specific card out of my wallet while getting gas, so I know it wasn't a skimmer or something. Weird, I, I know. But ever since then, that's kind of the only thing I wish this wallet did have. I'm also gonna include some chapstick in my EDC, specific to this one from CarMax. I, this is always in my pocket anywhere I go. I'm basically going to bed with this thing. I don't know why, I think it's just kind of become more or less a habit or maybe it's for the taste of cherry. I don't know, is that kind of weird? <laughs> anyway, I started carrying chapstick more frequently ever since I took a trip to Vegas uh, a few years ago. I went out there for about a week and by the end of the trip, my lips were torched. I ended up having to get chapstick in the airport. They hurt so bad. And ever since then, it's, it's always something I have within reach. 
To round out the small items on this list, I don't think you can forget a good pair of sunglasses. I mean, these are another thing that I don't leave the house ever with. I believe, I believe these are the Justin Classics in gray from uh, Ray-Ban. I have a few other quality pairs, but these are the ones that I grab 99% of the time. As you can see, I've gotten my fair share of mileage out of these things. I really need to get a new pair at this point. Not sure why the lens coating started chipping like this, but these have been great. I, I have no complaints. It's actually the only pair of sunglasses that I have that aren't polarized, which I was kind of skeptical to get at first, but the gray color didn't come polarized and I had to have the gray. All in all, these have been great and a solid 10 out of 10 for me, even without the polarization. And the final item on this list, I know it's not like technically carry it around with me every day, everywhere, but it's gonna be my MacBook. I mean, this is another one of those Apple items that I've just had for what feels like forever. Um, the most recent one I had before this was a 2015 MacBook Pro. That thing was a tank. Speaking of MacBooks, have you guys seen the new M4s that are supposed to be being released later this month or the next few weeks? They're coming out with new models so quickly, it's honestly hard to keep up nowadays which one they're on or where they are, which one they're coming out with, but are you guys gonna be upgrading? I, I may upgrade this year, I'm waiting to see you know, what's announced. I mean, this thing literally handles anything I can throw at it at this point. The most recent thing that I'm working on for a brand, uh, high quality footage, multiple layers, sound design, I mean, things built out in the Fusion tab, it just, every, it just works. I have the PC for you know when I wanna be stationary, but sometimes you just wanna get some work done from the couch or your bed or you know at a coffee shop. And that's where the MacBook comes into play for me. I genuinely love this machine, but you know, you may not, and that's totally fine too. <laughs> Maybe you're a hardcore Windows user and you know nothing's gonna change your mind. I mean, listen, the whole point behind this video is just to show you some of the things that I keep with me around on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not trying to convince you or anyone that you need to have these items. It's all personal preference. It's just a few things that I've put together over the years that I use just about every day at some point or another. But yeah, let me know your favorite item from today or, you know, if you have any of these items, which one's your favorite? You know, comment, like, subscribe, do all that for the algorithm. I appreciate you watching this video if you've made it to the end. Um, I appreciate you being here and that's all I got for this one.